everybody, Luke Smith here with the Packsmith Dog Training, helping you forge excellent relationships with your pack. Today, we are teaching Admiral Sterling Fuzzbutt the climb. The climb is a great exercise. It is one of the first exercises that we teach because it allows us to teach self-control. We're eventually going to want to put them up on this climb and they have to stay there despite any distractions. And so it is a great tool. If the pizza man comes, you put the dog on the climb. If they are introducing a new dog, you put the dog on the climb. But we're going to show you the very beginning steps of this process so that you can go ahead and get started. So if you like this video, like, subscribe, share, make sure everybody can get a hold of it, and let's get right into it. All right, this is a little bit farther away, but I want you guys to be able to see my full behavior on this so that I can show you guys what we're trying to do here. We're going to teach him to do exactly what he just did, is climb up one of the things. Sometimes if they do it on their own, you can go ahead and reward them. Good. Wait, wait, good boy. All right, so I freed him up and I ran away to give him, to let him know that that's what I want. I've got his attention because I have food. So I can just go ahead and run away and he's going to follow me. Nine times out of ten, they're going to follow you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over, climb. Good. Wait, good boy. All right, I do it right away. I put him up there because the very first thing when we're teaching the climb is we want them to understand first, more than anything, that the climb, that the word climb means get up on this surface. And then later on, as we go, we're going to teach the duration. So we want to go ahead and free him up right away, just like we did with the sits and the downs. We want to free him up right away so that he doesn't start releasing himself. And then later on, once he's got a good recognition of the word climb and that it means to get up on the surface then we start to use corrections mostly just negative markers but some a little bit of corrections to teach him that getting up on this that the word free means get up on this and stay up on it so let's do it again climb good free good boy climb good now some dogs, you'll have trouble getting them to get up on them, especially a little bit older dogs that have never been up on something uh, a whole lot. Come. Good. Free. Good boy. Come command, free him up as well. Don't forget that. See, he's already getting to the point where he understands he gets rewards over there. And that's what we want, is we want to build that recognition that this is the spot that is great. This is the spot that I'm supposed to be in. This is the spot where I get the cookies and the loving and all of that good stuff. I want them to feel like this is the best place in the world because we are eventually going to want them to stay there for a long extended period of time. Climb. Good. So when we start to build duration, good. We're going to keep rewarding. Good. We're going to reward over and over again. Good. And then before he decides to get off on his own, before he gets bored with the situation, before he um, wants to release himself or gets distracted by something else, we are going to go ahead and free him and run away so that he understands that that means that every single time I get off of this thing, I need a free. Eventually, um, depending on your style and what you expect from your dog, um, like for instance, my dog Cinch, if he gets up on something, even if I haven't told him to get up on him, he stays there and waits for a free. And that's because I've been ultra consistent about expecting a free, and I tell him free even when he, even whenever I didn't give him the command to get up on there. So you can do that, you can not do that. This is your dog, so you do whatever it is that you want with your dog. I'm just going to teach you how to teach these things. And then hopefully by the time we get done with this, you'll understand how to set up your criteria in order to provide a consistent um, experience for the dog from you because the rules are actually on you, not on the dog. The dogs just learn about because of our consistent behavior, but the, the, the rules are actually on us. They, it's actually us that needs to follow the rules of how we're going to react to every single situation. Climb. Good. You are so cute. So, rewarding. Good. Can, rewarding of uh, time, duration. Good. Good. And 
So now he's eventually going to get the idea. Nope, nope, nope. Good. He's going to get the idea. Good. As long as I stay up here, I keep getting treats. We're eventually going to wean off of that. You always want to say the good prior to giving the treat, prior to even moving towards the treat. Good. Great. And the better you are at that situation, the better you are at making sure that the, the marker comes prior to the reward, the more they're going to get recognition that every time I make that noise, that means I got food coming, or I got a pet coming, or I've got a toy coming, or I've got something coming. Generally, not toys. But we'll, we'll get into that in a future video. Let's try it again. Quiet. Good. So, great. As we continue to teach this process, we want to start giving him the command earlier and earlier so that he understands that this is about what we're about to do. But so I start giving the command of climb to the whenever we're moving that direction, and I can stay back because I eventually want him to leave away from me to get onto this climb. Because it's nice whenever you are in a situation you need your dog to climb that you don't have to walk them all the way over to whatever it is that you're that you're doing. Okay. Climb. Climb. Good. You see how he, he left away from me a little bit? Good. Good boy. Sit. Good. Free. All right. Climb. No. Climb. Good. You see how I just... No, 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 no. Climb. Good. All right. In situations, I'm glad that happened because in situations where they do actually get off before you freak them up, good. Just give the negative marker. Make a big deal about it, but don't correct them. Good. And then tell them what it was that they did wrong and put them back up there. So you don't actually have to correct them. Good boy. Yes, he is a good boy. Good. Freak. Yeah. Good. Good. So when we stay really consistent in about the way that we go about doing these things and the things, the way that we behave around our dogs, our dogs get the opportunity to understand in their own language what it is that we want from them and the only way they can understand is if we are ultra consistent so and that's going to be in the videos we're going to do a video about motivation we're going to do a video about timing and do a video about consistency we touched on them in the last one we're going to go way down deep into it i hope you guys enjoyed that video um just for the next week do this focus on getting the dog on and off to climb get them used to recognizing the word climb uh, making sure that their good marker is in place making sure that their no is in place um, don't worry too much about duration just make sure they have good comprehension that climb means get up on to this surface anything over about three or four inches will work for a climb so you guys go ahead and keep working on that for the week next week we're going to start uh, with the end of this training session where we start working on duration and how to get your dog to stay on the climb whenever you move away from it. So stay tuned to that. If you like these videos, press the like button, follow the Facebook page. We're now on Instagram and Twitter um, at the Packsmith, Packsmith on Instagram. Uh, so it's all the same thing, the Packsmith. So if you guys want to go ahead and find those pages, like, follow, subscribe, share, whatever, any of those buttons that you guys can push, that would be fantastic. We want to get this news out to everybody so that everybody can forge excellent relationships with their pack. Again, this is Luke Smith with the Pack Smith Dog Training saying, lead your pack.